Hi everybody, I'm going to be showing you how to use Dada Mail to send out an email newsletter. Um, you should have a link that takes you to Dada Mail. It's kind of a bizarre address. It's hammock.net forward slash cgi dash bin forward slash Dada forward slash mail dot cgi. Not the most memorable. Um, web address but you can get to it from um, you know bookmark this or go to hammock.net and do a search for data you'll find this link um, but once you get to this page um, you'll be tempted to go to this pull down pull down menu here and select your company name but that's for people who want to subscribe to a mail list and you don't want to subscribe to it you want to find your company name here I'm gonna pick J Hammock and Associates and click on that and that's that's actually the, the link you want to uh, give to people if they want to subscribe. They can subscribe right here and sign themselves up. But you're not subscribing. You want to go in and uh, actually send out an email. So you want to go into administration. So here we are at administration. I'm going to type in my password. And here we are at the page that is ready for you to send out a message. So uh, first thing we're going to do is we're going to change the uh, subject line. Um, just take this word message, delete that, and put in, put in a subject line that even if someone doesn't open up your email, uh, at least it'll clearly identify what your email is all about. So I'm going to make up something here, spring discount from J. Hammock and Associates. Again, that way if someone doesn't open up the email, at least they get the gist of it. I'm going to click on the plus sign here, which will open up your HTML editor. This is actually called a WYSIWYG editor. What you see is what you get. And I'm just going to type in some information here. This is and I'm just going to do a little copying and pasting here to make a message and I'm going to scroll down a little bit Scott okay um, next thing is I'm going to put a picture in here I'm going to put a picture in the very beginning but you can put it wherever you want I'm going to click at the very very beginning here and then click on the insert edit image uh, icon here it looks like a little mountain with the sun over it uh, and I'm going to assume you want to upload a picture from your hard drive. So click on Upload, then click on Browse, and let's just find a, uh, oh, any kind of old. I'm just going to grab something here kind of randomly. Um, here's some clip art I have. Then you want to send it to the server. There we go, it's been sent to the server. Click on OK. And it should tell you what the dimensions are. It's a little on the big side, but uh, we'll, uh, you really sh should use a, a smaller image, something that's only a couple hundred pixels wide, but I just grabbed something randomly. Um, let's set the alignment to left. That way the text will float around it. And let's put a little horizontal space around it and, and a little vertical space. I'll show you what that is in a bit. Um, in fact, I'll give it a little more vertical space so you can see the difference. Um, and then just click on OK. And here you go. Now this is a little bigger than we would have wanted, so I'm going to shrink this down. You really don't want to do that. You want to just insert a, a small picture instead of um, shrinking down a big one because uh, a big one that's shrunk down is still a big image um, and will just make the email message uh, bigger than it needs to be. Now notice we put a horizontal uh, padding of five pixels and a vertical padding of ten pixels which is why we have a little more space here than there. I'll show you that again. Uh, horizontal space of five 
uh, vertical space of 11. That's here and here. Uh, but again, I want to stress that you know usually a picture of you know 100, 200, 300 pixels is about as wide as you want a picture to um, to insert into an email. So then you're good to go. Um, the next thing you want to do is have a plain text version for people who can't uh, accept HTML. So click in here, hit uh, Control A to highlight the whole thing, hit Control C to copy it, go down to the plain text version, and then Control V to paste it. So now you have a duplicate of this, but without the car because, of course, it's a plain text version. Now here's, here's a very important step. You want to send a test message. Make sure your email address is in here. Uh, leave this to open in a window. Um, click on I'm sure because this is pretty simple. And be sure to click on test, uh, submit test message first. That'll open up a new tab. And in a moment it'll tell you that your email has been sent out. So go ahead and check your email then and make sure it looks okay. If not, um, okay, the mail has completed. I'm going to close that tab down. You can go back and edit your messages as you like with uh, any kind of formatting or, or whatever. Um, if you want to create a hyperlink, just go ahead and highlight some text and then click on the, the uh, link. It looks like a little a piece of chain in front of the world. And then you put uh, your address here, www. I'm going to put hammock.net. You can put whatever link you want in there. And there you go. That turns it into a hyperlink. That's uh, something you'll definitely want to do is have links back to your website from, from your uh, email. Then uh, when you're sure you've got it uh, you know, to your satisfaction. And again, you want to make sure that you copy it. If you make changes up here, let's delete that and then paste all that so that your edits are reflected in the plain text version. That's awfully easy to forget to edit one and forget to duplicate it in the other. When you're 100% uh, satisfied with it, then instead of clicking on this button, you click on the submit mailing list message. Uh, which I'm not going to do here, of course, but uh, if, you know, when you're ready, this is the button to click on. Um, you will then get a window that pops up that tells you the status of the mailing. You want to leave that window open until it's finished, which if you have a large list may take a little while, but do, do leave that window open until the uh, email is finished sending. Um, one last thing is if you need to add subscribers, um, go into the Manage Subscribers section of the menu and just click on Add and then it's pretty self-explanatory. So uh, that's about it. Um, it's uh, super simple software and uh, if you have any questions about it, let me know, but uh, hopefully this will get, uh, get you going. Okay, well thank you very much. Bye now.